Anyway, so this experiment, you, I didn't know that you could be so fucking stupid as to suggest an experiment which was just going to improve the results in, in favour of the scientific results. There's something wrong with you, man. There really is. Come on. Yeah, so yeah, I do have a tripod for what it's fucking worth. It's more trouble than it's worth because I can't show you everything you need to see at once. So I have to keep moving the camera, show you this and show you that and then show you something else. The new trigger device. So it's got two settings, depending on what size ball I'm projecting off there. One that weighs 31 grams and another one that weighs 62 grams. Okay, it's steel balls. This is a 30, 31 gram ball. That's 62 grams. Should I prove it? I'm getting my scales. Uh, hopefully you can see the reading. If you can't, it's tough shit. 31 grams. If you can't see that, that's tough shit. The other one, 62 grams. The 62 gram ball. It went there. There. 62 gram again. <laughs> that reading was exactly on the same spot. So I'll, I'll just put a double ring around that. I'm not going to do billions of these. It's a waste of time. So you got there and there, 62 grams. Now let's try the 31 gram one. This time I have to position, make sure it's a couple of millimetres forward for the smaller ball. So there's always one millimetre gap between the pusher and the ball. Gary's going to predict the end of the table. So there, this is 31 grams. Yeah, that was a fluke further back. That was a bad hit, wasn't it? Try it again. That must be it there. See that clearly. We've got one there and one there. Maybe if I measure, you know, the furthest. So do some calculations now. Yeah, 19.6 inches. And that one, the furthest we had was 24. Oh, Bob on 25 inches. 25 inches, yeah. Let's do a calculation. See what that ratio is. 25 divided by... 19.6 equals 1.27 again. 1.28 if you round it up. 1.28 really. That's the actual. So 19.6 would have been about 40 inches over here, wouldn't it? Really, Gary. What's 40 inches? It's about one yard and six inches. 39.2 inches according to Gary. So that's what Dickhead would have said it should have been. And that's what it actually was. See, Gary last time blamed it on coins being flat, being like discs tumbling. But that obviously wasn't the reason, because we're getting exactly the same result when we do what he said. He insisted that we had to use spheres now. I told you. I said right at the beginning, he's just going to come up with pathetic excuses as to why we're getting different results. And this typifies it. We're getting the same results, exactly the same results, using spheres as we did with flat coins. Moron. Yeah, absolute moron. Okay. So, two mass object went there, 19.6 inches. The one mass object sphere went there, 1.28 times faster, 25 inches. And he thought that just because it was a sphere, it was going to it was going to magically find its way all the way over here. Well, that proves what a fucking dickhead he is, doesn't it? Makes no fucking difference, does it? It's still 1.28 times, and that's doing it from the 32 drop level still. He's, oh, anyways, he's been proven wrong yet again. I just, I don't know why, I don't know why he bothers. What, what motivates him? What motivates him to just keep coming up with excuse after excuse after excuse? Well, Gary, just carry on. Just, uh, what other changes do you want to, me to do? Do you want me to, I don't know, sprinkle some fairy dust on it? Would you like that? Would you like me to say a prayer over it? You know, an, incan an incantation to, to your Jesus, your Newton, your... <laughs> say a prayer over it, you know, light a can... Do you want me to light candles around it? Do you want me to put some pyramids on it so we have some pyramid power to get some of your free energy to manifest itself? Yeah, any other crackers ideas, Gary? Any, any more crackers ideas? Anyway, anyway, thank you for putting me to the trouble of redoing the same experiments and getting exactly the same result. <laughs> Only you thought we were going to get a different result. Actually, I don't think you did. I think you just lied through your teeth, as usual. I think you just lied through your teeth to put me through this trouble, to make me go through this, so that you could just deny it again and come up with another stupid excuse you know, that we didn't, you know, uh, it, we didn't do it on a Sunday, we did it on a Saturday, or <laughs> didn't do it on, in a leap year. Yeah, you are not a waste of life.